Welcome back. As we continue with part two of my interview with Roger Pinsky, he talks about the possibility of new events at the famed Oval with the intent of not only adding good racing, but economic impact as well in the town of Speedway and beyond. Plus, the importance of growing the NTT IndyCar Series. As you look at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, um, the, the property, um, you know, the whole picture beyond racing, what do you see in terms of the potential and, and what's existing out there on West 16th Street? Well, you know, number one, uh, this is an iconic event. Uh, it's an event today that has the culture, it has the presence, it's the largest spectator sport in the world. So what I see is my job and our job as a team is to continue to keep that the iconic event it is, point number one. I think number two, one of the things that I look at is what can we do to raise the economic impact for the town of Speedway, the city of Indianapolis, and also the region and the state. So we need to have a plan that's going to build that. And this could be just at the Speedway, internal. It could be external, taking the 1,000 acres that we have. I think that's important. But more important is, as we're a promoter, this is a sporting event, what's the guest experience? And uh, we all know about net promoter score, NPS. It's interesting, when we did ho our homework, the Speedway and the 500 has an 85. And guess what? Disney and Apple are in that range. So what we have to do is be able to maintain that as we go forward. And the, really the fourth area that I think when I look at, at what we have and what we have to do is take IndyCar to the next level. And it's not IMSP production, it's not the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, and it's not IndyCar. I want to have this be one company that it has, it's really transparent, it's a flat organization, and let's use our best skills every single day. And I think with that, We've got to drive data equity within the series, and we've got to take our assets, our human capital, and sit down with these promoters, maybe do IMS Productions, does some lead-in small commercials, maybe social media things that we can do. In fact, we're meeting with one of our promoters next week to help him plan his day. And I think that's very important as we go forward. And really, on, to on top of that, you realize that in all sports have had a trouble gaining market share during 2019. IndyCar had higher TV ratings and also they had higher attendance. We got to sustain that. But more important is keeping the cost of the sport in line so we can attract you or someone else as a car owner and also have the opportunity to bring new young drivers. Final question, and you touched on this, uh, but your interest in creating additional economic impact. If you could maybe expand on that a little bit, whether it's the town of Speedway, which has undergone a transformation, uh, the Indiana Economic Development Corporation, very interested in your, your presence as well. You see an opportunity to, to add to the economic vitality. Of well, I think that when you're thinking about 500 million today, if we could have a Formula One race, could we have a six hour race? All of these events create economic impact. We promote the races in Detroit for the city of Detroit. And we just, in an IndyCar race, it's 50 million. So you can imagine if we can bring another key event. Plus, if we look at our real estate, is there a development that we can do to take that core part of the city tied around the Indianapolis 500 or the Speedway? Can we do things? And that's really, you know, that's maybe not today, tomorrow, or next year, but those are things that we, we've got to, what I call is utilization. There's a lot of utilization that can take place at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway in that area, and that's my goal. And we're going to take all of our people at Penske Corp and, and pull them together with Mark Miles, who's got a great team. And I just want to say this, that Tony and his family have done an amazing job. And I said, I'm going to get my report card 75 years from now, so I won't be around. So I hope the promoter score is still 85, and we've done to make a difference in the community. But that's my goal. Roger Pinsky, the captain now, the owner of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, changes in the offing. Buckle up.